This is a beautiful, beautiful stage that's called Freedom Square. It's where children are able to come in the summertime, play, have music, um, theater, dance, arts. But as a kid or a child on stage performing, if you turn with me, directly behind the stage, there's an eyesore, which is an abandoned building. And that's been there for some years. And again, imagine being up here after you practiced, you've rehearsed, you've went over everything. You're standing on this stage. And as you look up, discouragement is right there. I wear many hats. I am a father, a mentor. I'm the league information officer for Troy Central Little League. I'm an alcohol and substance abuse counselor. I believe that there's a lot of work to be done here in terms of winning souls for Christ. He has allowed many of us to be the light of the world. And the only way that we can show that he's real is to be out here and amongst the people outside of the four walls. There's a long saying which stems from biblical roots, am I my brother's keeper? All right, good to see you. The answer, yes, I am my brother's keeper. What does that look like? That looks like if I see my brother or sister in need, it's not a law, but a duty and a responsibility to do something. Advocating for these buildings to be given to families um, who could fix it up, who have family members that know how to fix it up, who have friends that know how to fix it up, give it to them. Have them work on these buildings as you've collected nothing on it thus far. And, and watch it grow, watch it flourish, watch it be prosperous. I mean, seriously, in, in half a block you have one, two, three, four, five abandoned buildings. Why? And there are a lot of children in this area. Once they reach young adulthood, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, and they start to say, well, why does my neighborhood look like that? It, it becomes a, well, if no one else cares, why should I? And what we want to do is show that if even your living room is dirty, you're going to want to, at some point in time, clean up and tidy up your living room. We've only been walking for about 30 seconds, but the garden, this garden during the summertime is cultivated by the Sanctuary for Independent Media and a lot of folks from the neighborhood. And it took a body of people to come together to say in the middle of this block, let's do something that shows what cultivating looks like. So to see this in the midst of a community that's in a city is good. It, it brings hope. It brings a question mark. There are a lot of families right now who are eager to learn how to build a house, paint a house, fix a house. You name it, they're eager to learn that trade. And what better way than to have families who are grounded in this community, who want to be in this community, take ownership of what someone else has neglected. Makes sense.